Welcome to my CEH version 9 review guide. Here we'll be looking at questions 51 through 55. Alright, first question is, if you're looking at browsing the internet anonymously, two good uh, ways to do that is through the Tor network or through the, uh, like a, the anonymous browser options. Though on the exam, what they're looking for, if you've ever gone through any of their prep material, is they're really looking for understanding the Tor network allows you to browse anonymously. Alright, next question. Phishing versus farming. Phishing typically revolves the receipt of an email that appears to be legitimate where the link could be one letter off. For example, Well Fargo instead of Wells Fargo. It looks legit, but just the DNS is just tweaked just enough where it looks legit, but it really isn't. Where farming uh, is more compromised of the DNS so that it actually is redirecting you to a hacker site instead of the actual website. So farming is uh, compromising the DNS where phishing is more of a modifying URL so they look legitimate when in reality they're not. If we're looking at HPing2, understand the syntax. The big one is here, uh, hyphen C, that's going to be the count, a uh, hyphen 9, the signatures. Uh, for example, if you do a hyphen 2, it would be looking for UDP ports. If you do a hyphen 1, it will be ICMP. And honestly, those are the big two, oh, and hyphen A for host, uh, hyphen I for the interface. Those are the big ones. So hyphen C for count, hyphen the number for the signatures, hyphen A for host, hyphen I for interface. What is the purpose of a certificate authority? It's so that we can trust SSL certificates. The certificate authority, we inherently trust them. So what they issue, we trust. So if we're looking at like a PKI system, or some type of public key system, we have the issuers that we trust and they issue those certificates. So we trust their, the certificates because we inherently trust the authority that's issuing them. Last question for this review is understanding impact before you enable a feature. For example, you may have a firewall that's being heavily taxed and you're looking at maybe in enabling deep packet inspection. So what do you do? Well, before you enable it, look at the impact that it would have on the services if you enable it. So maybe in the test environment, enable it, see how the router reacts, and if it's okay, enable it. If not, if the impact is high, then clearly don't need enable the feature. That's actually the five questions for this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll get them answered as soon as I can. Thank you.